Yeah. Well, you said that get brighter and brighter, my friend. Huh? That get brighter, though. People in say water change and turn red blood in a Pope Maria town here. Look how it turn red blood. And everybody come and test the water and then can't find a way to do it. Watch it. A sign is showing you. Know? Scientists come come test the water and you know what makes it so red. And then say it get redder. <laughs> Let's <laughs> see <laughs> Air kali berubah menjadi warna merah. It's 39 now, and uh, yeah, don't adjust your screen there. The river you see there really has turned red in northern Indiana. Officials trace the Red River upstream to a local company. Turns out that company released the red dye, trying to figure out how water was getting into its building's basement. It's in Revelations that the waters turn red, and that's the end of time. Yeah, she thought it was blood. Yeah, the dye is not believed to be harmful to humans or fish. Good news there. Residents say they only... Residents of a barangay in Laguna saw their river turn to the color of blood over the weekend. Let's get the rest of the story from Shaila Francisco. The scene looked like it was taken off the Bible when the river Nile was turned to blood in the time of Moses. Residents of barangay Soro Soro in Laguna witnessed for the first time how a nearby river turned red on Sunday. Though the phenomenon only lasted less than two hours, residents worry why this happened. The rivers are running red with, no, no one actually knows what the rivers are running red with. These pictures emerged last week from Chongqing. The Yangtze River, the longest in China, has turned blood red as it runs through the city. The Chongqing Environmental Protection Bureau has an explanation, however. Sand. That's right, the rivers look like this because of sand. 